Hi everyone, today we are going to do this bird in acrylic paint. We are going to make some rough sketches first. So I am making the axis, which angle I want the bird. So that is the axis. And on this axis, I am going to make the first oval. That is for the head. And the second oval, and it is for the body and it is bigger. So body is the biggest shape. And a straight line for the mm, tail. You can just uh, add details on this basic shapes. So like the triangle shape for the beak. Then we have to give a space a uh, shape for the wings here then some rough sketches and where we have to stop this lines the colors so when we do the rough sketches actually we are not making a perfect sketch but instead of that we are just learning that the whole uh, subject this subject we want for the drawing so you can just make more corrections when we start the painting So now it's a proportions are okay. So it has been the center. Then we can start the actual work. So first I'm just making a light axis and make sure it is in the center. And then divide how much you want the, the tail, the head, and the body so three I mean three uh, portions the first oval has to be here the next one here kind of egg shape And then a small straight straight line for the um, tail and you can just make a rectangle shape and this is the structure and then we're going to add the wings and uh, you know the feathers into it so in this uh, reference photograph what I have taken starting from here one line then it's going into inside the body then making some curves here it's connecting with the uh, head here and then we can start the details in the head now A long triangle shape here and a small triangle shape inside this and the eye is really close to this beak here and the head has to be smaller so there is a small hum hum there they make it like a little bit flatter for the head so we can just erase that one later so we got the overall shape of that one and then we have to add the legs one two two lines then you can just make some curves so I'm going to darken the outline so it's easy to understand the shape And this area is going to be dark color the black and then here it's small orangish yellow tone and we have both yellow and black here for the uh, tail this can be slightly flatter so 
so i'm going to erase all the um, mistakes and the lines we don't need so first thing So this is our finals drawing and then we can start with the painting now so we're going to take some colors for this one first we need red so i'm taking a scarlet red or you can take scarlet or vermilion this is vermilion hue both are almost okay and a cadmium yellow medium white black color so for the background I'm taking a blue color I'm mixing it with white color just a little bit of white and using a big flat brush you can mix this together make a light color and add more water into it it's not a thick painting it's kind of really light and watery and this is for the background So this is the base layer for the background that we'll be working on uh, on that later so you can still see the lines if we paint on top of it we can still see the that lines this is just to eliminate that white from the background so we can work with more beautiful colors we'll get some clarity about the colors we're going to use so this is just a base layer very light Then we have to wait it is uh, it has to dry a little bit it will take um, maybe uh, four or five minutes then we can start with the uh, paint on the bird it's kind of dry still slightly wet but that's okay we can just work with the colors of the bird and first i'm taking a vermilion hue it's vermilion and here i'm not mixing water i'm just taking thick paint and i'm mixing it with yellow it's a uh, cadmium yellow <coughs> And this is the dark color for the this area and then we have to make a lighter tone of it so we need two uh, colors yellow and a slightly orange these two colors this is the darker tone and the dark color is co coming over here the bottom area of this bird And after this dark color we can wash the brush then take the yellow color and you can start blending it the sides of the orange first and I finished this yellow area and then I'm going to take the dark tone again the orange that is vermilion plus cadmium and I'm going to do more layers of color here
then we can start with the black color so first I'm taking the black just adding some water so just you can draw a line over here then we will do more details in the next layer and beak is going to be grey color so you can take some white mix it with black color you will get a lighter grey this color is for the beak I'm doing a dark shade of uh, black color at the end of this beak. Same color, the, the gray color for the legs too. So these are all base layers. So we're going to work more on top of it. And also I'm going to work with a small branch here with the same grey color. Making slightly lighter with white because otherwise these two colors will look the same. And a black color, the dark color at the end of this branch. And you can take a small brush and you can add more details into the branch. with white and also the grey color make it more rough surface So make the sides of this branch uneven so it will look more natural. Even with the dark color and also with the light color. So now when we work on this area, so this area got a little bit dry so we can do more details there. First we need to mark some. Mm, white color there so there is some white color and I'm making actually lighter gray instead of making a uh, white color I'm just taking some white white plus gray color light gray color for that white lines and that is over here one two few lines long lines 
and take a thin long brush for that so thin and uh, long brushes will make longer lines it is really good brushes for making lines then few lines over here and i'm taking this gray color for the beak also for the highlight in the beak and this color can be an outline for the eye so we'll get the clear position of the eye and then when we finish this one we can make take more black color and do it on top of it so we need to make that black color more darker then you can make some lines into the gray color yellow color with a brush just to show the feathers now you can work on the the legs So if that background is dry you can start working on the background you can do any color for the background i'm going to take some blue and finish the background it's kind of patches it's not a perfect colors just making lots of different variations of the blue color And also I can, I'm going to add some green also into it. Then finally you can add highlights also, highlights with white in the eye. And also more white into the wings, in some areas of the wings. some grays Yeah, we finished our painting thank you for watching and see you in the next video